no, no, no duermo. Conocerlo, así fantástico. Claro, gran conocedor del terreno. En el mundo. Recuérdame, contacto con el plástico. Yo represento. No es la práctica. Te pongo te pongo te pongo David Cerna. So, David yeah. Cerna, everybody. He is an artist, he's uh, an illustrator. I grew up here in Houston and then I went to college in Florida, came back. Okay. So that's where I got my, my training, my artistic training from. Okay, cool. So um, I want to talk a little bit more about your works. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you do some like, is that oil, acrylic? I do a little bit of everything. It depends on the mood and what, what I'm trying to portray or we're trying to, the feel or atmosphere I'm trying to give in my painting. Um, I do uh, oils, uh, acrylics, spray paint, um, digital illustration. So whatever just looks good, I guess. Whatever imagery comes to right, your right, mind, right. that's that's what you put out right, there. Right. Okay, cool. So let's uh, talk a little bit more about your illustrations. Um, what type of artist have you worked for? I see you have a, is this an album cover here? Right, this is an album cover mm -hmm. that I did for an artist in Memphis. He's a rap artist, and his name is DeAndre, DeAndre One Kind. And we've been doing a lot of collab collaboration on album covers. Um, I've done probably a five already, and I, I'm currently working on a new one right now. Oh, okay. Are, are there any other artists that, that you've uh, worked with? Uh, like how, how did they find yeah. me? Because you said he's from Memphis. They found so. me online, and then from from him, like they saw some covers I've done from him, and then I've done more work so from him. It just him. started progressing right, from right, there. Right. Cool. So is, is it was it your first album cover? Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. yeah, I tried to do them before. It was so hard because the sizing. And yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I've done album covers before as just school projects. Uh -huh. but this was like the first one I've done like out of school. You know, so more professional work. Right. It's definitely it's a lot of detail and it's, it's right. a lot of it's a lot of work into it. And, and then you have to collaborate like you got ideas coming from both sides and it just right. makes so it all kind better. Of like your own style with right. their idea mm -hmm. and kind of put it out yeah. there. Cuz that's a little different than than actually uh, painting something cuz that that comes from yourself, but it's kind of different being an artist and having to yeah. collaborate their idea and then you kind of yeah, I'm very lucky with this artist because we, we're kind of in the same mindset, oh, so we good. have no problems. Like, I see what he sees, he sees what I see. So. Do you see what I see? Cool. Uh, um, have you done any like, like books and stuff like that, or is it just album covers? I haven't done books. I've been featured in a few like books and um, contests and stuff like that, so I'm trying to get out there little by little. Mm -hmm. So when I'm trying to gear my illustration style like with the album covers, is oh. to get more into children's books, so that's my right. goal right the now. Uh -huh. And the digital graphics. Yeah. How, how long have you been doing that? The specifically like digital illustration or? Well, the, all in all, all like I've always I've always done art. Everyone's a, or an artist, you know. I didn't get serious about it till like I was seventeen. I think everybody's kind of born an artist and then they just kind of have to put it into play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but then I just continue on with it, and I got serious about it. So, so I've been serious about it for like ten years. Maybe. Is is it a difference in doing art for work as more opposed to like like personal? Because a lot of people that, that uh, paint or do multimedia, they do it more for like it's a feeling, I guess, or an idea that they're trying to it, portray, as opposed to having to do it for work, like with the illustration. It it is different because you're trying to to please the client and it's not like you're, you're not you're not all involved in it so a little bit of that passion that spark is lost in it right. so it can be it's different. like it's like create art on the spot yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then they don't like any like this it's, it, it just can't be different you know? but you just gotta keep bring something into it that keeps you inspired to keep going on to finish it for your client you know? Right. So as, as an artist, I guess, and I'm, I'm kind of the reason that I'm, I'm mentioning this, do, do you think 
that it is uh, beneficial for an artist to kind of go outside themselves of, of just mainly uh, painting and, and kind of more doing it towards, uh, you know, business as far as mm -hmm. like, because uh, a lot of people say, oh, I, I don't make that much money, you know, I don't sell that many pieces and stuff like that. And I feel that there is other revenues out there, other no, ways to actually, uh, you know, benefit from your, your work and, and help others as far as, yeah, I mean, know, like, a lot of people need artwork, like for album covers, for, for books, for, yeah. you know, graphics like like anything I guess it's different on it and every artist you know like I just say they do what you like doing so I mean it could please like different things will please different artists mm -hmm. so I mean I can't really say for, yeah I can speak for everyone so. Okay. Cool. so um what series or Currently, I'm work, like I said, I'm working on a new album cover for the same artist, and I'm working on a lot of personal work. Uh, I have a lot of thumbnail sketches, and that's how I start these big, for these more, the illustrations. I do like a, a lot of small thumbnails, do like this small. Oh, teeny tiny. Yeah, I do like a hundred of them. And then from there, I, I pick which ones I like, and then from there, I pick which ones that I know it's gonna keep me inspired to finish it from beginning to end. Oh, okay. So, so I, you I, kind of have to pull things yeah, to keep yourself. Yeah, and then <laughs> maybe I'll pull something from this one and this one, and this one, and then just make one. It's kind of like one. putting a puzzle together. Right, right. Make right. your little masterpiece. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I like that. So, um, whenever you're doing like these paintings and stuff like that, I know you said you pull the thumbnails and all that. Um, are there? Or do you use like photographs or some? These like, paintings, well, even the paintings differ because. This is more conceptual. This painting, right. for instance, it's more conceptual. There's more and I, ideas I love the behind three, it. It has like a 3D kind of. Yeah, it's supposed to be a mirror. It. So it looks like like the mirror is kind yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, that's more conceptual. So that involves a lot of sketches and thumbnails. Um, these were more just inspired from my friends. So for instance, these were my friends in college, and that's where I got that inspiration from. And I work with. with uh, photographs for reference for that so okay cool and so um, where are you, where is it that you're looking to go with with your your career as far as an artist uh, I've always been interested in doing concert artwork character design storyboarding for movies and stuff like that um, oh, I'll storyboard. So, yeah, that's my main cool. goal so that's your main goal yeah, right now like I said I'm focusing on children's book illustration though. I would like to get something published that would be really cool Okay, cool. So, uh, do you have any words of inspiration for a striving artist out there or for the artist out there in Houston trying just, to make it? <laughs> well, that's, that's, it's kind of hard. You just got to keep doing it, but just do what you like doing. You know, you don't want to do something that makes you miserable. So, just right. do what you like. If art is in your heart, then do it. Keep your dreams alive. Right. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking uh, time to uh, come over here and chat with us uh -huh. and show you your illustrations Appreciate and your artwork. It. And uh, we look forward to seeing more of you in the future. If somebody wants to contact you, uh, they can look you up online. Uh, blog, LinkedIn. So you can contact me through there. My resume is there. My, my number is there. My email is there. And there's more projects on there that you could check out, like videos and uh, animatics. Okay, cool. Well, that was David Sedna, everybody. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for next time. Artist Rise Television is the voice of the rising Houston art scene. Join us as we take a journey through the eyes of an artist. I'm David Serna, illustrator, and you're watching Artist Rise Television.
loco, ¿qué te pasa? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy?